and welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to uh, solve this question using drawing. So basically, we are provided with two different points, point A and point B. So point A is 20 mm above HP horizontal plane and 30 mm in front of our vertical plane. So basically, this point is in first quadrant. So uh, we will draw the projection of point A. Then point B is 25 mm below HP and 40 mm behind VP. So basically point B is in third quadrant. So uh, we will draw the projection of both of these points. Then uh, a distance is given that uh, the end projectors are 40 mm apart. Okay. And we need to uh, find out find out the length of front view and top view of the line joining point A and B. So this is the question. So we are going to start the drawing now. Select a line, start the drawing, uh, sorry, select line, start drawing the line and what should be the length of this line? Basically the distance between end projectors. So 40 mm should be the length of line. So we have drawn this line. Now for point A, if we draw the projection of point A, this is 20 mm above HP. So basically its front view, it will be 20 mm above the XY line. So 20 and press enter and uh, click here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the name of this view. So uh, select multi-line text and specify which view is this. This is your front view. So basically point this should be A dash. Now reduce the text height to 3 and close the editor. Okay, height was not reduced. Double click on it. Select this and reduce height to 3. Now this is your front view. Okay, so that's why we are writing A dash. Okay, so I have not marked the point yet. So to mark the point, use PO, press enter and then specify this point. Now if this mark is there, that's good. If not, you can simply use p type command p type press enter and select the type of point that you want to mark and click ok so this is your front view of point a now top view is it should be below this xy line okay so what should be the uh, distance of top view from this xy line so 30 mm in front of vp so basically this 30 mm it will shift uh, below so basically you are going to select line start this line from this point and go till 30 units press enter and enter then specify the point as this one so this point it should be this is the top view so it should be written as a so double click on it and remove dash from here now same thing we are going to do with the point b as well but point B is in third quadrant. So basically its top view will be below XY line and front view will be above XY line. So select a line. So I'm going to draw the, sorry, front view will be below XY line and top view will be above XY line. So what should be the uh, distance of front view from XY line? So the point B is 25 mm below HP. Okay, 25 mm below HP. So it should be 25, the center and repeat the line command and what should be the distance of its uh, top view it should be 40 mm behind vp so this line should be 40 press enter now use point command specify this as one point and sorry PO, enter. now make sure that uh, these uh, points o snap is activated otherwise it will be quite difficult uh, to locate the exact point now copy this text now this is your top view of point b so this should be marked as b and now we need this distance so i'm going to mark it like this then copy it paste it here and this should be your b dash so b dash so basically we have drawn the projections of point a and b now we need the uh, 
length of top view of the line joining point A and B. So top view of point A is small a, top view of point B is small b. So basically the top view of line AB should be this much and press enter. Now front view of this line should be this A dash B dash and press enter. So this is how you can uh, basically draw these lines. Now in order to find out the lens what you are going to do select dimensions and measure these dimensions. So this is the length of front view of this line. Now select this point and this point and this this length it should be you can uh, take it like this as well. So this one it should be the length of your top view. So you can uh, in order to make it a little bit more clearer you can use move command okay. select all the objects or you can simply move this text outside. So this is how you can find out the length of front view and top view. So I hope you guys have understood everything. Let's check the question if any portion is remaining. End projectors are 40 mm apart. So basically this distance length of this line we have taken as 40 mm. So let's place it like this and change the color of dimension as well so that there is no confusion. Right click, select similar and change its color. Change its color from bilayer. Okay, all of them were not selected. Select similar. This one is not selected. Right click and then specify the color as a different one. So this is how your drawing will look like. I hope you have understood everything and you can provide the other dimensions as well for a little bit better clarity. Okay, use dimension from this point to this point then from this one to this point later on this one later on start from this point to this one so these are all the other dimensions that were needed now right uh, select one select similar and change their color so basically this is how you can draw the lines and you can uh, increase the line weight as well if you want to select similar so all the lines will be selected increase line weight 2.3 and I hope okay, they are not properly visible right click select similar go to line weight settings click on display line weight and let's take a look ok and that's it so this is how you can solve this question i hope uh, you guys have learned something new so after placing all the dimensions uh, we have got the length of uh, front view as 60 units and length of top view as 81 units now uh, if you want to increase the precision you can simply go to uh, this annotation toolbar click here Go to modify and increase the precision of these primary units to 0, 0.00. Click OK, click close, and you will see that you have received the exact length of these views. So, I hope all of you have understood. So, the answer of this question front view will be length of front view will be 60.21, length of top view it will be 80.62. So that's all for today guys. Thank you very much and have a nice day. I hope you guys have learned something new today. Mm -hmm.